Hey guys, welcome back to another LJ Tap Tips video. Today we'll be looking at my lovely Lenovo X220. So, let's get into the video. So, I bought this machine recent, well not recently, couple, I think in 2019 I bought this machine. And I used it all the way till recently where I've upgraded to a newer laptop. So yeah, anyway, so this, what does this machine have? It has an i5 second generation, so, you know, obviously not the latest and greatest. 8 gigs of RAM, which is DDR3, 64-bit processor. But yeah, it's it's a well-rounded machine, and it sits reasonably occasionally, apart from when it's updating, like now, um, CPU-wise, and I've installed an SSD, and so this is an M SATA SSD which is installed somewhere here. I don't exactly remember. And then I've installed a hybrid drive in the hard disk slot. So that is what's happening there. Um, it's usually pretty low CPU, so I don't know why. Anyway, so how is our um, video playback? So let's just go to our latest. I've just got to mute this. So I don't get copyrighted. That's another thing. I like having these keys here. Alright, so here we can see that, you know, that we are in 480p. That's its defaulting. So let's go to 180p because this machine should be more than capable. As you can see, no glitch there, no nothing. Now, I do film in 4K if you didn't know that. But you'll just have to find that out yourself. So, yes. Pretty well-rounded machine. Now, recently I've had problems with my sales on Facebook Marketplace. So, my account has currently just been, you know, um, paused. And I will provide an update on that into the future. Um, but, yes. Um, I do have many items for sale normally. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the video. So, I currently have it on its original base station id idea doc 3 which is what i think it's called and the thing which i do like about this machine is like for this time you can flip it around completely and it has a start so this light dot was really aimed oh sorry about the flickering there there we go i hope that's been fixed the thing which i really like is the stylus having this stylus it's quite a good stylus and it's pretty responsive with this machine, as you can see. Now, um, this, so yeah, this machine's pretty good. It's got an original battery. That lasts around three hours. I've got it on the charge currently because I am have the base station. So yes, half decent machine. And they're very rare to be found working. This one here, I got quite cheap. So I'm more than happy to, you know, that so yes thing which i like about this machine is having these mechanical buttons thank goodness for windows support because all this stuff came working pre-installed i can mute i can demute i have a microphone key i don't think that works we had the think vantage key i do have lenovo think vantage installed on this but for some unknown reason you know the, i'm unsure if that was supposed to do anything in the operating system so yeah these keys here do not work but the power button here does work here it does work and also on the base station it also has a power key which i find quite interesting so this machine originally shipped with windows 7 professional and we got it running windows 11 for unsupported hardware now it can be done it's not H24 because I have not been able to download an ISO yet for it. So that will be coming in the future. As you can see, we're up to date, yada, yada, yada. But yes, more than capable machine. And it works rather well, quite responsive. And for its time, and even for today's use, it is more than suitable machine. So for web browsing, YouTube playback, that type of stuff. I would even recommend this for someone who's good at digital sketches. And, yeah, it's quite a solid machine. 
anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it consider subscribing and like always have a wonderful rest of your day